Hello, welcome to my show. Let's talk. Uh, Say about the hat. Uh, well, in baseball news, there's not a lot right now, but I'm just gonna put it out there. Uh, the D-backs made a trade because with Evan Longoria, who's 38, who did not got resigned by the D-backs, who the free agent, they had to find somebody at third base, so they went to the Mariners, talked to the Mariners, got a trade at Eugene Sucre. I can't pronounce his last name very well, so I apologize about that. Uh, so they gave away the starting pitcher Carlos Vargas and the end shortstop going to the Mariners. I think that I would get a great C. I'm not 100% on these two talent that the Mariners got, but good trade to me. I think it's worth it. Uh, the other baseball news that were uh, I'm in here with Shuli Otani. I personally think he's probably going to probably stay with the Angels. He probably going to go to the Dodgers, but in most cases, maybe the Cubs. The Cubs are showing a lot of interest in picking up Shohei Otani. That is something I would be looking out to see if they can get him. And they, and the Mike Trout situation, he could be going somewhere if the Angels try to trade him. I don't know on that, but that would have been what the Angels are going to do. They're going to rebuild. I would just put Mike Trout with wherever Shohei Otani goes. That if the Dodgers pick up Shohei Otani then the Dodgers are going to have to go out to Mike Trout to kind of boost that defense and that offense and give the Dodgers another World Series run, which I would definitely go with. You got Clayton Kershaw, you got Ray Freeman, you got freaking weapons there. So that right there is what we're looking at. Uh, the Cardinals have done a great job by picking up Kyle Gibson. Uh, you know, they're they're doing really well with their off offseason uh, free agency lately. I don't see a lot of big names being picked up by the Cardinals just yet. So I feel like, okay, the Cardinals are going to look at their pitching, going to try to do better. And the way I look at it, I would just remember any team is performance. I look at the performance for it to see where, where we're weak at, and then look at the money so we can spend. Those are the two big main reasons I look at as a general manager if I was managing any team. That, because if the performance is like, let's just say our current pitch is really bad. All right, so I'm going to look at some pictures that I know that can give us good performance. Now, you may be in your 30s and, like, Blake Nell, for example, he's in his 30s, okay. Well, I'm not sure if he's going to bring in another good year, but I do believe he's going to give us a good performance at least a couple of years. So let's offer him a free five-year deal there. That gives us time for him to grow with some of the young pitchers, let them develop and learn from him, and really concentrate that development on that pitching side from our young ones. Same with the infield and outfield. You want to bring in a veteran. Let that veteran teach the young ones to get better and better. And that will make a big progress in baseball. Uh, but other than that, that's what I got for tonight. Uh, but happy Thanksgiving, everyone. For tomorrow is happy Thanksgiving. So hopefully everyone enjoy their Thanksgiving weekend. And we'll see you soon.